Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Russ. RWGresearch.com is my website. Although obviously, at the moment, I am not worried about my website. I am driving. I think I'm charging. I hope my battery don't die. So, I would like to discuss something with you guys. And instead of sitting in front of the camera and yelling at you, I or talking to you, I should say, I thought it would be more fun to do it like this. And what is it I would like to talk about? Well, actually, that's a pretty simple thing. So, there's um, a gentleman that left a comment, and politely, he said, Why do Bible thumpers always want to convert others? That was his words. And he said it politely. He, he was uh, trying to be nice, but he also was you know, just trying to figure out the answer to that question. And so I thought today I'd answer that question. Um, and I'm going to answer it in a way that you probably won't expect. So for those of you who are like, oh, he's going to talk about religion and all this nonsense. Well, you know what? I'd recommend you stay around because it's not what I'm trying to express and change you. I'm trying to express my life and what I do in my life and what I would want in your life. So, with that said, Happy Easter! Tomorrow, not today, but tomorrow is Easter. And that's exciting, as you guys who are um, faith believers know. And uh, for those who do not, well, again, I'm not here to preach at you. Uh, most people don't realize, but I will never preach at you. And uh, although I do say read the Bible more at the end of my videos, and I have uh, taught some of my faith, my faith before, taught some of my faith before, I do not preach, will not preach. That's not my. That's what. That, that is not why I'm here. I cannot tell if my camera is charging or not. I don't think it is. So, let's see if I can fix that real quick. I'll try that. So, the point of this video is to express one very important thing. And it is, first of all, I'm actually not a Bible thumper. And uh, it is a book full of information that is extremely helpful for those who are hurt, for those who are in need, for those who need a little bit of something to hold on to. And that is the main reason why I express that you should read the Bible more. Oh man, got a bug in my eye. Something. That's awesome. Not really. So, I want to express the fact that I live a blessed life. And that blessing comes with my faith belief. Okay? I don't, you know, there was another guy who commented that religion is like the root of all evil, and you know what, to be completely honest, um, there are religions, and the word religion could be considered something almost as bad as a cult, because the way that people have treated that situation and that word. But for me, I live by faith. I don't live by religion in the way that a lot of people use that word. I, I live by faith. So one of my quotes is, and this is something I made up, I don't know where it originated from, if somebody else said it at one point and I liked it, but I think I made it up. But uh, it is, if you believe, even though you do not see, you will see. And that's, that's an honest statement. I believe I will see what I want to see. So some people would call that manifesting your own future and it has nothing to do with faith. And I will argue that point, but I'm not going to do it here. But for me, I do not suggest that that's the answer. For me, it is knowing that there is something greater than you, something better out there in the world for you, and it's a blessed life. It's living a blessed life. And what does that mean? Well, living a blessed life to me is having the ability to accept the blessings. So a lot of people are very greedy and very to themselves and I'm a very self 
uh, selfish person. I don't live self selfishly. Self. I don't live for myself. And along with that comes a lot of blessings from people and that's why I'm open source and that's why I share my knowledge and that's why I do all of the things that I do is because I truly believe that living a blessed life is the best way to live your life because if you live selfishly then the only thing that you get is what you get for yourself and living by faith means reaching your hand out there giving back some of what you were given godly uh, in my case, it's, uh, you know, I've been given the gift of being able to do these things and share my knowledge and having the ability to, uh, to actually achieve the goals in my life and share those responsibilities. So one thing I've learned is if you want to live a blessed life, okay, you can learn how to live a blessed life by reading the Bible more. You can learn that you don't need to be perfect to be accepted. And that's one of the most important things that I can share with you. A lot of people think they have to be perfect, and that's just not true. God accepts you for who you are, for what you've done, for your sins. He forgives you for those things. And that's something that pretty well no other human, you know, well, no other human is going to be able to do and really truly mean it and give give that love that you can get from having the faith like I do and there's a lot of unknown variables man I'll jump off that cliff every day not knowing how deep that water is and one thing's for sure it's scary because if the water isn't deep enough you're gonna break your legs but I have faith that it's deep enough and it'll get me to where I want to go so living a, living a blessed life, all right? If you want to live a blessed life, the Bible says that you should tithe. Give a tenth of your income. And it doesn't necessarily have to be financial, but that is an, a very, that's a very important part of it. But, you know, if you're a very smart person, or if you're a very talented person, or if you've got something that you can help back, then you can, you can, you can do it that way. But there is something special about physically giving your money it's I know it's crazy but it sounds crazy but it's not crazy once you actually do it and you understand the return and you understand the outcome but for people who who are like hey man I gotta give like money it's my money well actually it's it's not your money uh, and that's the way that you can look at it and it makes sense and I can guarantee you because it's the only place in the Bible that God says, and Jesus says, test me in this. There's nowhere else in the Bible that says, test me. The only place is about tithing. And I did that. I, I did exactly that. I tested it. And that is the reason I believe it. And everything else in my faith belief is done by testing. I'm a very little, literal person. I want to physically see and touch everything or I don't believe it, right? That's who I am. And yet I have an extremely strong faith in these things that I can't see or touch because I tested it. And I highly recommend you do that. You test that. So the point is, is if you want to live a blessed life, you got to be able to open your hands. Because if your hands aren't open, then you can't receive. And if your hands aren't open to give, you can't be accepted to receive the blessing and that is the way that is truly the way it works and it's a pretty remarkable thing so for me I the question right of why do others want to convert why do Bible thumpers want to convert others it's not that we want to convert you it's that we want to show you via our story via our life via what we have learned by being faithful we want you to have the same thing and the only way to do that is to reach people you know and if you if you let people just read the Bible they will find something in there that they agree with what they see value in and that little seed is very important because I 
I'm in a very interesting position. I have a YouTube channel with a bunch of people who follow me because I do very interesting things with alternative energy and 3D printing and all sorts of other things. And a lot of those people, they find me because of my thought process, because of my faith belief. And there's a lot of people that find this channel and they see it and they, they don't, they don't, you know, put two and two together. And I'll leave them a little gold nugget and plant that seed and that little seed will grow because I'm not here to preach at anyone. That is not my position. I will never be able to do that. I am here to plant the seed by demonstrating what I have been given in my life and how blessed I lived and the reasons and the, and the know-how of how that stuff works. So I hope that answers the question and I appreciate that polite comment because it was a polite comment. And uh, yeah, we don't want to convert you. We want you to have a blessed life. We want to show you the outcome that you can have by having a blessed life. And it all starts with someone planting a seed. And if I say read the Bible more, there's a few people out there watching this video that absolutely know that I am in 100% not joking around when I say that. Because that, that book has shown me a lot of little pieces of value and wisdom that you can really only get by either talking to someone else who's lived it or reading the stories that are in there and the little nuggets that are in there and the pieces that are in there. And there's been a lot of times in my life where I've been pretty depressed, man. Really depressed. My childhood was pretty bad, but you know, I'm sure others have had it worse, but in general, that that made me who I am. My childhood and how rough it was made me to be able to work with and deal with people on the internet because I had had a pretty pretty rough childhood. I don't really need to go into it, but it was pretty rough. I think I've said it before on my channel. So, a while back, I don't I think it was was it last year or was it before that? I don't know. But I posted a video that was called The Most Important Video I've Ever Posted. And I'd have to say this might be the more important video that I've ever posted. So, I'm on the highway now. I just wanted to express that and say Happy Easter to you guys. I want nothing from you. I want everything for you. I want you to have a blessed life. And having a blessed life, to me, is the biggest thing you can have. Because if you count your blessings, and you really understand what a blessing is, every little one, you'll realize that <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Living a blessed life is something that you will forever cherish. So, I'm about to get on the highway. Yay! We'll see how windy it is. I've been having some problems with my microphone, so I'm recording this through my Bluetooth off to my phone. But yeah, you know, everybody needs a little pick-me-up. And uh, that little pick-me-up is uh, read the Bible more. I promise it'll help. I'm going east. It's finally getting warm. I'm getting hot. So, hmm, the juice standard. Fun. Well, yep, I just want to say I love you guys. The greatest love you'll ever find is in that book. It's pretty remarkable. It's, ex it's ex just extraordinary. There's too much. A lot of people have their own thoughts about it but there's just too much you start really digging into it most of the people who really really have dug into it they turn the they turn the other way and they come to not fro Whee! oh the highway i'm not real fond of driving on the highway but it is what it is so i'll leave you guys at that Let's go check this out. Ready?
God bless you guys. I'll see you another day. Much love to you all. Much love to you all. Live a blessed life. Peace out. Whee! Look at that view! In case you're wondering where I'm going, I am going to volunteer at my church because I do believe in giving my all in everything I do. Yes sir, Bob! Ba -da -da. It's actually getting warm now, kind of hot. Ah. Uh -huh.